Sunday consisting of three five-minute rounds in the light welterweight division. Please welcome one more time, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Arte Suave. This is his third professional MMA contest. Milan, the original douchebag, Silva. And his opponent in the red corner, representing Lions Gym, a professional MMA record of two wins and only two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time, James the Lionheart Dixon. Well, only in MMA can you get the Lionheart versus the douchebag, but we do have it here. James Dixon fighting out of the red corner, the black Hayabusa shorts trimmed of white as he takes on Milan Silva, the original douchebag. The, original the best douchebag. nickname I've heard all night. <laughs> Phenomenal. We touch gloves. We have 15 minutes to separate them at light welterweight. What's ironic is Milan Silva is one of the nicest guys you'll meet. Certainly not much of a douchebag, but he got caught early on there by James yeah, Dixon. Yeah, he looked to try and take the take, try and get the takedown, but Dixon hammering away here. Yeah, got to be careful of that fence grab though. Oh, uh, drops him in. again. James Dixon's power is phenomenal. His power is absolutely phenomenal, but he's got to he's he's got to learn how to kind of pace himself. If he doesn't get him out immediately, he's got to have some. Something left in reserve, but right now, it's all Dixon, heavy on top. Yeah, big elbow landed there as well. And I don't know, I don't know if you can hear that, but Melissa Mullins not in the corner. She's in the crowd, and you can hear. <laughs> can still hear. Elbow on the hips. Elbow on the hips. This is just a horrible from James Dixon and referee already calling for Milan to improve position. Improve position. I mean, the shots... Heavy ground upon him. There's the stoppage already by Dan Moverheady. James Dixon gets it done very, very early here in round one. All one-way traffic. He didn't allow Milan Silva to get out of first gear. Absolutely, yeah, I mean... He probably could have let that go a little bit longer, but I it probably would have been more of the same. Yeah, so why, why? It, w w it's, it's one of those ones, I mean, I, you'd, be, you'd, fighter, be, you'd be disappointed sorry. if you if you were on the receiving end of that. But yeah, you, you might think I could have taken a few more, but no complaints but, yeah, from the corner, absolutely. no complaint from the fighter, and that tells you everything you need to know. Absolutely, and yeah, like you say, it, it looked like there was no way that Milan was going to advance out of that position. No. And, yeah, just phenomenal from James Dixon, though. Just coming back from such a horrible injury as well. His last fight, broken orbital and broken nose. Yep. Nine months on the sidelines. He's come back and he's <laughs> absolutely annihilated a dangerous guy in Milan Silva in the first round win within the first yep. what, minute and a half. That wasn't quick. It was sudden and it was all James Dixon. And... One of the nicest guys you could ever hope to meet as well. Yeah, I mean, James Dixon's absolutely. just a lovely human I, being. I didn't even get a chance to, to use any of his great quotes that he, uh, he provided Combat Sports UK before the fight, such as, we're both uh, here to commit terrible acts of violence against one another. Well, certainly he was there. <laughs> if you caught up with him, John, feel free to get that last interview if you like. <laughs> So the Lionheart, after nine months off, broken orbital, broken jaw, then he comes back and puts a hefty pace and some heavy damage on the land silver for the win. James Dixon. James spent a long time on the, uh, the sidelines after your last fight with injury. To come back here and win the fight within a minute and 10 seconds, it's got to feel good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not much I can say, I'm uh, a bit bittersweet at the minute. You hit him with a big stinging right hand early on, which is uh, what led for him to shoot him for that takedown. Do you think you hurt him with that shot early on? And, uh, and, and did you know once you kind of started landing that ground and pound that it was kind of the beginning of the end for him? Yeah, yeah, I knew that I'd hurt him. I could see it in his eyes. Um, I was very conclusive. And in every shot I was landed on the floor, I, I could feel my, my, uh, 
look who's pissed because we're in my glove, you know, so I, I, I knew that I've got heavy ground to find, you know, and I knew he was feeling every shot. You told the, guy, told the guys at uh, Combat Sports UK in an interview before this fight that you've got a list of people that you'd happily punch in the face for free. Have you got anyone in mind for your next fight and when can we expect to see you back in there and any names that you want? I'm sure they, uh, they know who they are. They've uh, ducked a couple of fights from me before. Hey, look, I'm now three and two professional. I understand it's, it's not the, the most profitable win beating myself having two losses. But they understand the violence I possess. Um, and I don't think they want to get punched by me. And this is why they're taking easier fights. They can fight against people with pretty records. And they, they don't want to feel what a convention has in their fucking hands. Now, can we expect to see you back here in... Uh, and obviously, we've got a card in December, GTFB. Do you think you'll be ready for uh, December? Do you want to get back in there then? Or do you want to kind of look a bit further into the new year? Yeah, so obviously, my next focus I've got two of my fighters in the evening. I'm a full-time coach, as I'm sure you're already aware. I've got my beautiful wife fighting in Ares um, for a title eliminator. And I've got one of my uh, professional heavyweights as well fighting in Poland. These guys are my priority for this time. Um, and I want a good fight, you know? I want somebody... Look, it, is, it takes a lot out of me stepping in here. It takes time away from my loved ones. It takes you know, time away from me eating, which we all know I fucking love and to make those sacrifices um, for, look, Milan, fair play to him. Balls, huge balls, huge balls. You can see him coming out of his shorts, massive balls. Fair play to the fuck for fighting me. But look, I want somebody, I want somebody bigger, I want somebody better. They need to inspire me to get into this cage. They need to inspire me to not eat fucking burgers. You know what I mean? And like I said, there's a list of people. I don't want to go out with them, but they're a bunch of bitches. Let's be real, you're bitches. You know who you are, you're fucking bitches. Yeah, except the fight, you get it. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we get to witness a vicious finish from Mr. James Dixon. So let's once again give it up for your winner, James Lionheart Dixon. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that does conclude this evening's event, Golden Ticket Fight Promotion number 20. Number 21 will be here very soon. Please follow Golden Ticket Fight Promotion across all social media for updates on upcoming shows. I've been your MC. Good night. If we're going to get all officials inside the cage, please, can we get all officials in the cage? Thank you.